This is uh, to document some undesirable behaviour that is happening between Machine and Ableton. And I'm not sure if it's a combination of Ableton or NI's code. Um, but anyway, here's, I'll have a go at describing what's happening. So you'll see here there'll be some tonal sound. And we've got the tune parameter mapped. Now if I take this to here, the pitch will actually be different now. It won't actually be zeroed. So even though I took the parameter and I hit the delete key to reset it, it's no longer at zero, it's at 0.28. Now if I press the down key and the up key, you'll see it returns to zero. So it's incrementing correctly. But if I take it with the mouse, let's see what happens. With the mouse it doesn't zero. Let's also try um, going down with the keyboard. And we'll go all the way back until I hit the minimum. So we just hit the minimum and I'll hit the up key to come back. And it won't achieve zero. So it seems that when it hits the limit that those increments assigned for the parameter values I'm guessing there's a limit of 128 is um, not causing the VST to zero, to zero correctly which means that I guess the, the way these values are being quantized is inconsistent and not repeatable. Um, as an example for how this can um, this can be a problem if I zero the parameter in the VST, and let's say I've loaded some preset and it sounds how it's supposed to sound, as soon as I start automating this, it's not going to return back to its default value. Also, if I were to use uh, a macro and map this guy onto there, you'll see it's... it's um, behavior is just broken. We'll zero the macro again back to 64. You see it's, it's broken. Um, so I'm not sure where the problem lies here. I have a feeling it's either to do with the way Ableton quantizes these parameter values or the way machine quantizes these parameter values and it's not able to return to a desirable state. Um, note that I don't think it's a solution to be able to just achieve a zero, but that any of the uh, any of the original um, preset values that are set here should be able to should be able to scrub and scrub back after you've configured a parameter in machine. Otherwise, if I've if I've turned all these dials and I've got them sounding the way I want to, them to sound and I may want to automate automate down and automate back to their previous value you won't actually be able to achieve that previous state um, yeah it would be awesome if we could get this fixed thanks guys